just an old bracket truck. What are we going to do? <laughs> no. <laughs> Where are we going? Yes. Andy finally finished all the fab work, finished the exhausts. I think he was finishing up the radiator, whatever I called him earlier. Um, so now we get to go pick it up and hopefully get started on wiring and plumbing and everything else. Okay, I <laughs> hoping for the end of oh, end of August. Hopefully it'll be running and we'll be ready to test. And the first race, hopefully, will be Annihilation in September. Oh, it's the same race that I wrecked the old one at, so it seems fit. So that's what we're gonna try to do. If we get done for that, even better, so we can test and make sure everything goes right. Um, so, yep, we'll see y'all in a minute. You got it, babe? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, crippled ass. <laughs> it's harder because I'm trying to be like, not fuck them up already. <laughs> and I know your ass is going to do it, so I'm going to let you fuck up first. I ain't broke nothing. <laughs> so, we just got the new truck back. And yes, the motor is a little different than what we said we were going to do. Uh, this is the old motor and transmission out of my old truck that I wrecked last September. Uh, we decided just to go back with what we knew for now. I might do the turbos later on, but 
as of right now, we know what to do with this and how to make it make power and be competitive with it. Uh, <clears throat> I know we've been slacking a little bit on videos, like a lot. But I wanted to do this video to show what all we have gotten done and everything else. Uh, Andy Willoughby did all my fab work and stuff that I needed. He built the headers from scratch. He mounted my hood for me. Uh, bottle brackets, the radiator, it's mounted in the rear. Try to get some more weight in the back. Uh, fuel cell, battery boxes. Andy helped me out a lot on getting all this done and doing everything to my specifications on it, how I wanted it, how I wanted everything to fit. Um, compared to the old truck, this truck is 10 times better chassis wise. It is still a lighter bar setup, but it's renovated and closer to being new age than the old one. Uh, the entire back half, it's all round tube chassis instead of the old square tubing that we dealt with. Uh, it is just a back half truck. It still has factory frame rails from right here where I'm standing to the back of the cab. So it still fits all the rules that most people have factory floors, everything else. The only good side is that this truck is about 200 pounds lighter. Also, this time around, it'll have two kits instead of just one because I got tired of getting drove around, <laughs> which it might still happen, but I'm gonna try my damnedest to make it not happen. Uh, it'll have the sledgehammer plate along with the fogger. So then those will just be on all the time. No scramble button, nothing like that. Uh, then today we're gonna try to do some of the wiring part portion of it. Uh, mount my race pack, my switch panel, and stuff like that. Hopefully try to get my shocks put on, my rear shocks, as well as doing my headlights and my grill. Hopefully we can get to all that in time today.